Yesterday's storms, a shelf cloud was spotted down in Murfreesboro. Mer Meteorologist Cruz Medina tells us how these form and why they often look so ominous. When storms roll through, some clouds are more scary looking than others. Shelf clouds like the one you're seeing here from Murfreesboro yesterday are scary looking clouds and it's a good idea to head indoors if you see one. But there are definitely some misperceptions surrounding shelf clouds. So for storms to form, there must be upward motion of air in the atmosphere. As the storm grows from its updraft or strong rising air, rain and sometimes hail eventually fall out. So while precipitation is falling out of the storm, an intense downward motion of wind, known as a downdraft, spreads out over the land. Winds in the downdraft can be strong to even destructive. And as the rain-cooled downdraft spreads out over the land, the warm, moist air that was at the surface begins to rise. As the air is forced upward, it cools and condenses on the front side of the storm, creating the shelf cloud. The simultaneous upward and downward motions that you're seeing here keep the shelf cloud intact as the thunderstorm continues to move along. So once the shelf cloud is over you, the winds will pick up, the temperature will drop quickly due to rain-cooled air, and heavy rain typically follows shortly after. So if you see a shelf cloud moving in your direction, expect rain and strong winds to accompany the storm as it moves over you. While they're pretty to look at, shelf clouds are better to watch from inside to avoid getting struck by lightning. Meteorologist Cruz Medina, WSMV4.